Got something really cool in my fan mail. Ugreen 1200 watt a portable power station or I like to call them solar generators instead of like uh, gasoline we can use uh, solar power to recharge them just different way to produce electricity but it's still in a sense a generator because it's producing electricity instead of gasoline using sun there's lots of natural disasters happens uh, like you know even windstorm can take out the power and if we have uh, aquariums or certain things that just to have to have power these things are really useful and just to recharge the phone for like a couple weeks I have lost power here for around a week we live in the mountains every snowstorm knock out our power so first of all it's pretty hefty very powerful wall look how many plugs there is so six right here nothing in the back there's the display flashlight on and off to USB-C, USB-A1 and USB-A2. There's a, one of those car plugs. Oh, what's over here? Oh, wow. It's also rechargeable too. Overcharge protection. So there's a fuse and there's other plugs right here. Looks like it does comes with a box of stuff. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Bunch of cords and adapters and plugs and chargers, beautiful. And there's a whole stuff, all the cords. Looks like it's completely out of power, that's cool. So what I will do, unbox it and uh, charge it up with the solar panels. Let's see how long it will take to charge it. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Nice, very well packaged. So very easy to set it up. Whoa, that's a lot. How does it hold it together? Oh, it's a clip on over there, but the legs are magnetic. Let's just set it up right here. Whoa, that is a really, really big solar panel. Nice. Comes with the wires, everything we need. Let's set up a second one. Simply line up the plugs. That's it. Nice and tight. Very nice sunny day without any clouds i see some a little bit spread out but i don't think it'll be moving so it'll be good test there's a target how to line up the solar panel you see there's a shade dot it has to line up inside of the other circle just like on top example it have to be lined up way over here so after a while it have to be like uh, moved a little bit and there it is, sun will move a little bit, so I can just do on the outside because I know which way sun going, so it will pass to here. So I think I'll be happy with that. So a power bank had an adapter, uh, so it will connect two of them into one. That is so cool. And the wire is pretty long to where we will be able to grab it and reach in and plug it into power bank. The power bank so it does not overheat, it's a good idea to hide it in the shade uh, out of the sun. That's what it just common sense and it plugs in into here. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it turns on instantly. Okay, so it's activated the battery and it's going to start charging. What we'll do is set the timer. Okay, it's a morning sun, probably the best sun. The fan is going and uh, the watts is 220 so far and it's 3.3 .3 hours i guess it's how long it will last okay and now it's producing 220 watt it's a 29 percent was pre-charged but it was deactivated okay it's 226 watt 25 being produced it's morning sun and the fan is on very quiet i do not hear the fan blowing at all okay let's start timer also it's 9 55 so 10 o'clock let's see what will charge in a couple hours then we'll have to readjust the solar panels align it with the sun better we're about 20 minutes in and like i was expecting the dot actually moved up closer where i want it to be so just plan ahead of time it's going to move with the sun Okay, 50 minutes into it, let's check on it. The dot is right on the spot. So this is what I was talking about. Sun will go up and uh, will go to the side. 
Okay, 229 watts charging and wow, it's at 50% in just 50 minutes. So it was at like what, 29% or something like that? Now it's at 50. It's charging really fast. One hour and 50 minutes, exactly an hour later, we got a little bit of cloud. So that's a good test. See how much it's outputting. It's looking beautiful. Let's see. Okay, gonna get over here. Let's turn it on. Whoa, 70% and it's only making 75 watts because it's quite uh, sunny. But these clouds will go away and will jump back up. But this is charging. But yeah, in another hour, so like 20% an hour easy. That is awesome with a quite nice sun though. And it finally just now it become cloudy. So pretty much in five hours it will be fully charged for zero to 100 if it charges at 20% an hour without clouds. Love it. And here's a good example. I had to go and I came back five hours later and sun is totally on the other side. They end up cutting the grass a little bit on it, but it's fine. So let's see. It's 100% charged. That's nice. Okay, we have 100%. Look how easy it is to put it away. It's so thin, I could not believe it, how big it was. Boom. It locks in. And there's a magnet. Wow, very small solar panel. And it's so big, unfolds. Amazing. So obviously we'll charge cell phone, laptop, all those small devices, charge them up many times. What I want to see, if it can run a boiling pot. That will take a lot of power. Will it handle it? Let's find out. I love the display. Okay, 99%, 99 hours. What I'm going to do is just turn it on here. Turn it on right here. Okay, it's on. Now, let's turn the teapot on. Let's see on the display. Okay, the fan is on. Out is 1200. Uh, watt and it says it will run for 40 minutes if you're going to run a teapot it will run for 40 minutes so it's a lot of teapots running it very steady the fan is very quiet that's it and I can hear it start boiling well it's staying really steady at 1281 output and 94% uh, now and it's boiling it it's boiling it fast. Wow, it's hot. Like light bulb only takes like 160 watt. The teapot is very powerful. Look at that. Uh, so using up the battery real quick, but it is a really good test. 12 IT out and it has no problem. We down 11% and look at that. Full boil teapot. Yeah, it will take up a lot of energy sometimes even if you use too many of these things at once it knocks off the breakers in the house because they take up so much energy and the fact this power bank can run it easy no problem and it's off love it okay I can turn this off and unplug it and we have boiled water love it 87 percent that's not what I would use it for and it passed the test amazing also it has automatic shut off cooling system even though I turned it off it's still running uh, to make sure it's cool off the batteries all the way before it's completely shuts off that is cool